strangest formation from, uh, well, I think we, we could be talking Mount Mulanji here, could be Mount Molosa as well, but I have been dealing with a bit of Mount Mulanji material, so let's go with Mount Mulanji, right lustrous quartzes, there you can see the main crystal sitting on the matrix of a feldspar around the beige material, would be some tiny zircon crystals, I think we may have some agerine here too. I can't see very clearly from this distance. Oh, there is definitely some agerine on the side there. Of course, these crystals are always so full of inclusions. And then uh, what's interesting now is when we look at this side, the specimen the other way around, this is a, a crystalline section, just abstract crystalline going across there. We have it going around there. So it can actually be displayed two ways around. Crystals terminating on top there. So this would have been previously the bottom. Ah, oh, there's a quite a healthy dollop of agerine sitting over there. I, I actually quite enjoy this display where the, the main quartz crystals are more prominent on the, on the outside. Let's have a look for inclusions. Maybe some blue greenishness there, which could be some Rebekat asbestos trapped inside the quartz. But please look at my description for confirmation. I do need to look under magnification. Um, could be grey as well. As you have with Messina, the Agioites and the Papagoites, here you have the, the blue, green and, and the grey, which can be easily confused. Or the Agioite and the... Uh, the, the hematite inclusions, often one, one confuses the two, but in this case, well, look at that. All the way from uh, uh, Mount Mulanji, Malawi, there does seem to be a greenishness to the, the, the crystal over here. Let's just zoom in on that again. That form, there we go, there's the whole form of the crystal.